In the last video of this project, I believe I showed the construction of my filter and the digging out of the whole area. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll put a link in the description. So I already had the filter in place, the pooling pond area dug, and the water reservoir installed. I then ordered a piece of 3.5 by 3.5 metre APDM liner and one cubic metre of assorted rock and pebble. I'm running a one inch diameter flexible pipe from the reservoir to the filter and I already had this from a previous project. I enjoy adding in the rocks. It's physical work but it's fun trying to envision how everything will look with water. I try not to overthink the rock placements, just basic ideas like hiding the filter and using large rocks to create twists and turns. I had an old piece of liner that I used to create a small tributary stream. I used regular high yield expandable foam to help send the water over the rocks into the reservoir and on the small waterfalls where the streams enter the pooling slash pond area. I added a piece of leftover liner above the reservoir blocks to create a little pooling area and small stream before it disappears back down into the reservoir. I made a bit of a mess with the foam, <laughs> I always do. Once the plants are added and some more moss, it'll look natural. I'm certainly no artist and I've only added a couple of plants at the moment. While I had the feature running, I went around checking the edges and cutting away all the excess liner. I also purchased a nice big wok bowl to add some rice fish and water plants up at the start of the tributary stream. Now for the fun part, or the part that I have no experience with, the solar setup. Initially I was just going to buy a solar pump and kit set up off the shelf, but then I couldn't learn all about setting up a solar system myself. These kits are quite expensive and it didn't include a battery, so I figured better to learn how it all works. I decided to buy my own panel, regulator, battery and DC pump. It's actually pretty easy to set it all up. I got this little DC sump pump from eBay for 20 or 30 bucks. It's five amps and pumps out around 4,200 litres per hour. I got a 160 watt solar panel, that was about $100. And I got an expensive 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, this was about $400. You can use just a regular car battery, that's much cheaper, but I wanted something that would last many years. I also needed a solar charge controller. These are very cheap, I'm pretty sure this one was 20 bucks. I also bought a cable connection kit, some mounting brackets and fuses to make it easy for a beginner like me. This cost me an extra $90. I was a bit scared because electricity is scary, but setting it up is really easy. First you connect the battery to the solar control panel. There's a little icon on the controller that has a battery and you simply connect the negative black terminal to the negative socket and then the positive red terminal to the socket mark with a plus sign for positive. Next you connect the solar panel. Again there's an icon and you just connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. And then lastly you connect the pump. Red wire to the positive, blue wire to the negative. I was very happy to see on the screen that the panel was charging the battery and the battery was powering the pump. I still need to tidy everything up, set up the panel, battery and controller in a permanent location and then I've got to finish off all the plantings. But it was fun to get it fired up and see that it was all working. In a future update I'll show how it all looks finished I'll walk through the final configuration of the plumbing and the electrical, 
But for now, I just wanted to do an update on how it stands right now. I hope you found something in this video helpful. If you have any tips or questions, pop them down in the comments and I'll try and use them or address them in a future update. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.